Hi friends, let's get started with the first part of this series. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to go to GitHub Microsoft SQL Server Samples page and then go to code and then download the source into my local machine. Once the files has been downloaded, let's extract that into a separate folder and then open that and then open again. So here you will see media and samples. I want to go to samples folder and then you will see different projects that they have created for us and then I want to I want to go to database and then here uh, you will see the different projects under database projects and one is adventure works where you see adventure works related sample databases and projects and Contoso data warehouse related and northwind pubs and then wide world importers so I'm interested in analyzing wide world importers so it's again a sample databases introduced in 2016 and I want to know a little bit more about wild world importers now. So let's go ahead into the GitHub page again and go to samples and then go to databases and then go to wild world importers. So here we will see a, bit, a little bit brief about wild world importer sample database. So this wild world importers is a wholesale company. Transactions and analytics are performed in the database wild world importers. The database wild world importers data warehouse is an OLAP database focused on analytics. So basically what I'm going to show you is wild world importers is an application database. So where that company has an application user interface and a database to store that information applications information so that information will be stored in this database in the application OLTP related tables and wild world importers data warehouse is a OLAP database focused on analytics so here we have two projects one is wild world importers application database and another one is wild world importers data warehouse and basically data warehouse will comes after when we want to analyze ES historical data. The projects related to these are wild world importers, SSDT means it's uh, related to wild world importers application database and it's related to wild world importers data warehouse database design and it's related to data warehouse populate uh, ETL packages. And Power BI dashboards are related to reports. So. When we receive this project, let's say, so what is the first one? So as a BI developer, the first project that we receive, the ultimate goal for us is to design reports. So based on the client requirements. So the client asks for us to build an historical report based on the applications database. But because of uh, some issues like application, application tables follows a normalization and uh, data splits into different tables right and when we query that database applications data it obviously takes time and it can't give the report within the time frame that we want so that's useless right so in that case and also uh, when we query applications database um, frequently then it impacts the performance of the application and it's never uh, it's not a good practice obviously no one wants to uh, uh, slow down the production application right so in that case when we will come up with alternatives or other solutions or standard solutions to build that report so that's where it comes we have to separate data in a different structure and loads that into a data warehouse where we see dimensions and facts and we have to build an ETL package to populate data into data warehouse design tables. And then once the data is ready within the data warehouse, we go and create reports on top of the data warehouse and um, process that in a time interval. So this is a brief about our project now. So let's go to our folders. And then I'm first interested into viewing SSDT application database. So here is our application related project. And then double click on the wild world importers to open that in Visual Studio. So once it's open, let's verify what tables we have under this application and uh, and let's create that database in our database SQL Server and then populate some data into that database. 
so for this application database i want to use a backup and restore script to restore this database into our sql server local sql server instance for our practice once it was ready i will be creating data warehouse in database project so once it's loaded let's open solution explorer and then you will see wildwood importers project here now expand wildwood importers now you will see different folders so you can also say different folder for each schema so application is a schema and then they have grouped all the tables that's related to application schema into application folder and then they have created the tables under this project so so this project is a sql server database project that you will see in visual studio now if you go to file and then go to new project now you will see different types of projects here so you will see sql server database project you will see integration services project and ssrs project and ssas project so likewise we have different types of templates in visual studio right so so microsoft has used this sql server database project to design any databases that's related to the project so wildwood importers is an application database and they have used this database project to design application database here right so they have created this um, these tables are related to application so um, so this is how they have created this application database so i'm going to cover this sql server how to use sql server database project how to create projects in sql server database project in later sessions so in this session let's try to concentrate on how they have created and they followed they used the bi data tools to design the solutions so for now i'm not going to analyze how this database has been designed i'm just i but i want to have this database in our sql server instance so then i can build a data warehouse on top of the application database that i have created in sql server right so we must need this sql server database in our local machine so let's go ahead and check what other options that we have to restore this um, database with the data into our sql server local instance so here i want to download only wildwood importers full backup and i want to restore that into my local machine so before i go and design this data warehouse before we understand this let's have our source system ready in our sql server instance so as i said it is a full sample database for oltp online transaction processing and hybrid transaction analytical processing real time operational analytics so i'm going to download this into my local machine and then i'm going to run a script to restore this backup as a separate database separate new database in our local machine so let's see that once it's downloaded once the file downloaded i'm i just want to move this file into a different folder that is i want to move that into c drive sql server samples my folders and i want to uh, paste here the full backup and then i want to create a new database new data i'm sorry so when when we restore this backup database into our local machine when we do that i it generates three other files like this so it generates wildwood importers ldf log file main data file and user data file group and then in memory data folder so all these will be created when we actually restore this database full backup into our sql server instance so the script that we have to run to do that is this this is uh, the script i have created so this is the script that we have to run to restore this full backup into a separate database in our local machine so you you need to update these file paths um, accordingly based on your Uh, local system on drives and then execute this script so then you will see the database wildwood importers in your sql server local instance once we have got this source system ready then we will be 
able to design the data warehouse and ETL and then reports on top of our new project data warehouse. So the real time use case scenario that I'm that we are going to look at now in this series is dimensions and data warehouse loading ETL using SSIS. So that's the main use case real time scenario I'm going to show you in this series. So I hope you understood and let's continue the next part in the next session. Thanks a lot for watching my video and please comment, share, subscribe to my channel for more videos and instant notifications. Thank you.